this is Nerd Basics Likes. Likes. We travel far and wide across the Bay Area, places that are influenced by pop culture and that are breaking out of the norm. We go there and bring it directly to your doorstep. Enjoy. Enjoy. So one night after teaching, really exhausted, kind of aggravated, annoyed by the students, I just didn't want to feel like going home with that kind of attitude. I yelped for Japanese food because I was craving it. And I checked this place out in Alameda called Yojimbo's. I was like, okay, just sounds like a regular Japanese place. So I roll down and lo and behold, I walk in and everywhere around me is anime, manga stuff, Hayao Miyazaki. And I was like, dude, this is my place. I sit down, I order the chicken teriyaki bento meal, which is pretty much a mountain of food, and I just sat down for three to four hours watching my favorite Hayao Miyazaki movies, eating it up like a king. And I tell you what, all my aggravations disappeared. This is Yojimbo in Alameda, California. So, this is the teriyaki chicken bento. It's not a special. This is a regular menu item. It's legit. And I'm here with the owner, uh, James Park. I'm a big Akira Kurosawa fan, and one of the very first movies that I ever saw of his is Yojimbo. And as you can see, you're gonna see that this man is just a well of creativity, but um, you'll notice all the paintings, it's because of this guy. And so, what basically, what is it that you love about, you know, as I notice Akira Kurosawa, anime, manga, what's your, what's your love, why do you love it so much? Kurosawa, in my country, in the Chinese movie, and morning Chinese movie, I was young, this is the Chinese movie. Morning time is the Japanese member animation. Right. Uh, love is the TV, watch the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you grew up with it. It's yeah, kind of yeah. like morning cartoons and yeah, stuff. Yeah, morning cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Night time is the first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, good. So, um, how did you guys? I know you were, you work here with your brother. How did you guys connect your love for anime, Chinese movies, manga, and all that, and <clears throat> wanted to make a Japanese restaurant? I like this culture because every my restaurant is connected to the, just on the earth. So I, I was thinking about it. Everybody's still what's that? Smartphone, mm -hmm. normal conversation. Wow. So I, I, I guess it's why I used to couple, all this conversation, all this stuff. Talking about this, this, this culture and talking about the, I like conversation. So basically, you're challenging your customers to drop their cell phones and drop their smartphones yeah, right. for them to actually talk to one another yeah, yeah, right. like real human beings. Yes. <laughs> That's a brilliant idea and uh, I, I couldn't agree more. Everywhere I go, I just see something new and I see something different and uh, it's just so fascinating to me that we have, we have this beautiful restaurant here uh, very close to us in the Bay Area. Um, James, one last question. What else do you want uh, the customer to experience once they leave yeah, your restaurant? So, this restaurant is the local place to inspire the culture. Okay. So, I don't I like it. Every people is don't, don't talking about the everything smartphone, mm -hmm. everything using the smartphone. Right. Not thinking about it. But, oh. but I like it's thinking. Thinking. Okay. Some of the culture, see the animation, see the talking about the people. Right, right. I like it. Okay. I love that. So basically, if I if I heard you correctly, that you want you want people to be engaged by culture, not just simply looking at it, but you want to actually engage and think about it, and and that you know. So at at the end of your a meal guys have a fuller experience of actually you know being a part of the culture yes brilliant i think this is such a great place and thank you so much for allowing us to interview you james and and uh yeah <laughs> thank you thank you so that's yo jimbo in alameda california 1221 park street you better like it come check it out you'll love the food you'll love the ambiance you'll love being immersed in that culture so that's it for this episode of Nerd Basics Likes. 
If you have any suggestions of other places where pop culture is breaking out of the norm, hey, let us know so we can check them out. This is Simon, love you, and this is Nerd Basics. Person, please don't film me eating. What's hot? Totally film me eating. Please don't. I feel like you're filming me eating.